So I just thought I'll quickly explain why this video has come along and the path we intend to take. So it's going to be a bit more of an explanation, the reasons behind it and um, why I don't see many other people do it. Um, someone else has done a similar thing. Where we're going to do something different and with his help actually kind of take this on well, with his learnings. I won't say with his help, but lovable, awesome platform, does all these awesome websites, awesome looking websites, web apps. They look really cool. The design function from them is really cool. If you prompt it right, it can do some pretty cool things. It's fast, it's easy. I have sold a couple of websites and people I like renting um, and have a monthly subscription to me for, to host their website. We actually just sits on Lovable. So I actually, I think it's super easy money, low ticket money by creating an app with a bit of a prompt and then selling it to local businesses. And we're going to get into it where these local businesses have a real need for technology, but I know, I know there's a lot of drumming on about service-based businesses and how it's, there's not a big market, but um, a lot of people are smashing those technology kind of businesses and they all have a big implementation for AI and AI is going to take a lot of them over and people are losing jobs to AI at the moment, but and you'll see in the other podcast that I'm going to refer to very soon talks about boring businesses, boring businesses, and they use very specific diesel mechanics. Um, it's going to be a very long time until a diesel mechanic can get replaced by an AI robot, especially when we say about going out um, to the roadside in the system. So uh, a very specific niche in there that um, still has a use for AI and still for websites. Now, uh, back in the day, you used to just be able to Google up uh, Google Maps businesses and you used to be able to sell websites really fast, which I did. But you didn't used to sell them very fast, but it took you a long time to create them and type them out. But there was a lot more opportunity because people didn't have them. Now a lot of people have them. However, it got a lot easier with Lovable. Um, and I have some of my own websites on there. I, I, and I do Lovable all the time. It's all over my YouTube. I have service-based businesses in there. I've quite a bunch and then actually lovable gave a bunch of free tokens at one stage and i just created a bunch of blank websites and um, for these boring type of businesses right everyone uses car detailing but uh golf clubs uh vets um yeah lovable really good and you can actually connect high level up to it really easy and i know we're going to talk about seo and geo whatever the new term is going to be but one of my videos actually made it onto a chat GPT at one stage where if you search up love, how to connect lovable into high level, it actually chat GPT referred this video down here, which was pretty cool. I, I thought, but, um, I do a lot of lovable like lovable. It is really good because it does high level really well as well. So I think it's awesome, but <clears throat> it kind of sucks with SEO now. Um, I'm not going to say I'm an expert here, but the platforms that it uses, so it uses Vite and React together, and when it does it together, and I actually, this, I got ChatGPT to actually make this, um, a lot of things happen, so your browser literally takes whatever code it has and renders such code into a website, even just this in here. Um, there's some coding in the background that changed it into a, UE, a user interface for us. Um, however, this is a really easy framework to build stuff that's really cool, really easy, but it really, it's a bit sucky when it comes to SEO. Now, SEO gets really crazy as well because there's a lot of things that goes into SEO and we're going to see how Claude can help us with that Claude code. But there's a lot of things that um, makes it bad for SEO because a lot of stuff gets rendered with in your computer and your browser um, and it's really bad at getting those basic files the basic details from it and, and the fact that it makes it slow so speed has got a big thing to do and we're going to go through some speed testers hopefully hopefully later on um, in here um, so it's not the best for SEO and especially when it's in a competitive kind of market um, and what I have done quite recently is you can, and at, at least you'll be able to learn this, you'll be able to, um, with the help of GitHub, download your lovable sites onto your local drive, do some editing on it. And now if you just want to 
stay with Lovable instead of using those tokens, the same way can actually save you a lot of money because you take your website, you GitHub it, and if it doesn't make sense, you GitHub it and put it back into your computer. And we're going to go through it walks in very soon. And Claude Code can actually edit it for you for free, or a lot of other free coding editors, and then load it back up to Lovable. And that way, you kind of save a lot on those credits, especially those silly extra credits for not a big design kind of thing. But um, there is a way that you can get your website onto your local computer and then convert it to uh, what's called Next.js. It's kind of the framework as well. Now, Next.js is a lot faster and easier when it comes to SEO kind of stuff. Um, so it's server-side renderings so that makes it faster. There's some sitemaps and schema controls, better quality with indexing. So there's a lot that uh, this kind of framework, just the way it's built, I guess it's kind of... Um, Kind of thinking of a house built out of wooden logs and a house built out of bricks. Um, so just uh, you still get a roof over your head. It's just built in a different way, and it's got better functions with some stuff. Um, and for SEO, literally when you look up Next.js, this is the image that comes up: boost SEO with Next.js. So there's a way that you can download lovable websites to your website and you can actually just ask Claude to convert it for you however then you need to get another hosting service which we will get to in the later parts of the video you'll get to another hosting service and you can upload your site for the and it does perform a little bit better um, let me just see what I have in here next um, so yeah you can download it with github we'll get in as soon as it sits on your computer and then you use claude code to do the conversion for you there's paid conversions but claude can just do that for you quite easily it's pretty good um and then it converts your site it looks exactly the same but the back end is a lot better and faster and then you can upload it to a service like netlify now um i couldn't quite get a good graph i didn't do too much testing on it because all it does is it makes it load better, but you really still got to smash Claude with a bunch of prompts to get your SEO better. Because there's just there's so much with SEO. There's meta tags. You got to make sure your images has got descriptions, headings. Make sure your headings is right. Meta. There's so much, including speed. Um, but this is just one thing that it does is it makes the speed a lot better. Um, you know, like kind of put a graph. It says pretty average. I don't know if D minus is average. Um, however along came the boring marketer now go watch his youtube if at the very least i've posted in a bunch of groups and um he basically creates this diesel mechanic uh, website that really in a couple of hours ranks so it's actual real life proof of him doing it it does work you can make it work now again we're very specific into those uh boring marketing boring niches that not a lot of people do so there's not that much competition for it as well but the competition is um a lot older and sometimes doesn't get updated so um if you think that uh, a diesel mechanic in his instance might have been the diesel mechanic that ranks above him and google would have been there for the last 20 years they've probably not connected as much with technology however they have a good rankings because that website's been sitting there crawled by google and so on and it's yeah therefore it's really good and so he's created a website it works really well and he goes over so some pros and cons and how he set it up but what he has done is he's actually uh, got someone to design a really cool looking website for him on figma and then he's converted the figma to we will look at this very soon as well he's converted the figma and then got the figma code into a react type of um code base so claude can read it and edit and change it and we're gonna do kind of similar but instead of a figma design we're gonna go with the lovable design and see if it works now i watched this video and he's actually used this thing called astro never heard of it before so like like react like next.js it is also another um another building block framework as well so he's taken claude he's taken the astro framework he's done some awesome prompting which we are gonna use thank you 
and he's done really go good with his SEO in it. So we're gonna try recreate this as much as we can. So that's gonna be our game plan. We're gonna have our website from Lovable. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you completely how to add Claude, how to take this from here to GitHub and back onto your computer, onto Claude, installing it on Claude. Then it's gonna be a bit of unknown territory, territory for me as well converting it into Astro so we're going to see how much Claude um, and other large language modules can help me with this because like I said it's totally new for me and we'll see how this rank up in here um, and there's a really interesting little graph in here that we have and I see where's the zoom in button and you can kind of see um, I hope this kind of shows the quality gets a little bit bad but um, so what makes uh, Lovable uses React and Vide, so it's client-side rendering, and you can see even some of the websites that I have, uh, and I'll bring one up very soon, gets really laggy when it loads, because it loads onto your computer first. Um, where else, Next.js and Astro has server-side rendering, which makes it a lot better. However, so the cloud-based server needs to be a bit stronger. Um, slow mix, high-speed performance SEO, low good excellent so um everything is a lot better better within it we just need to make sure that we can possibly make it happen i'm not quite sure if we can um but we'll see how we go so um for the first part of the video is the game plan so that was a bit bit of how and why we're doing it um, so if you've come to this far, I hope you're interested in the rest of the video. At the very least, I reckon you should learn how to get your um, get your lovable stuff onto your computer and edit it with a code editor. And you will save. You're really going to save a lot of money and time doing that rather than putting it through lovable and having the bigger lovable plan. In fact, what I'm going to do is I have cancelled my chat GPT because I'm done with it. I've cancelled uh, GPT-5. It was absolutely disappointing. I've can, um, I have downgraded graded Lovable and I'm going to upgrade my Claude, um, my Claude and we'll go for it very soon but we're going to install Claude into our computer then we're going to go from taking a site from Lovable to GitHub and putting it on your computer really cool one in here and then we're going to try convert it into Astro so it's going to be the part one of the video I don't know if I can do this I've never done this I've not seen anyone do that, do that. maybe someone has I've my the SEO hasn't fi found them, um, but at the very least, if we run into a problem, I'm going to have to try find a website in Figma and convert it that way. So, a bit of a long intro, so this will be um, just kind of the intro. I'll, make, I'll get a playlist going and we can go through the next video if you're interested in this. In the playlist keep watching through how we're going to do all these things like i said at the very least in the next video you'll learn um the github trick to claude but by the way if you have a basic claude subscription you can use claude code um, it does time out some places but we're going to go up for the claude max and i'm going to show you that in the next video when we go along so yeah thank you for watching so far and i'll see you in the next one